How's it going YouTube? Tyler the Hotshot Hauler here. I'm going to be making another updated video for you all on the Dox Diesel Oil Filter Review for the 5.9 and 6.7 Cummins. Uh, my first oil filter video on them is um, because they sent me a Luberfiner oil filter and I ended up buying what I was supposed to receive myself, which is the PTC oil filter. Um, so I made a video on that. I will not be taking it down. It is still a valid oil filter video for the product that they sent me. Um, and how terrible it is. Um, so I wanted to make an updated one because I ordered more filters from them because I order them for my fuel filters and my air filters. Um, so, but they actually sent me a oil filter. So I cut it open and let's make a video on it. So this is the D5335 and it replaces all those. Um, I have the uh, perlator uh, replacement over here um, for what it replaces. So uh, let's get started and we'll, and we'll bring the uh, perlator into it, okay? Um, so first off, I will tell you straight up, this is a PTC oil filter that's rebranded to say Dox Diesel. That's all this is. This is 100% a PTC oil filter. If you watch my other video, you will see it is the exact same oil filter, okay? Um, but let's get started. So the casing on this, it, it has a great casing. I, I have no complaints with the casing. Um, it's not the strongest casing out there, but um, it, it, it there's no complaints with the casing. Nothing concerning. On the other end, uh, no complaints with this. Very standard, I mean, very, very standard stuff. There's not hard to mess that up. Nothing of concern, like different size holes and stuff, like on the Luberfiner. Um, but going back to the other side, um, the spring, um, spring's fine. It, it is a little bit of a weaker spring, I, I will admit, but it is still better than a leaf spring. Leaf springs are the devil, um, and they should never be in an oil filter. Okay, um, filter. So this filter material is um, crap. Um, it's uh, real rough. There's no, it's, it's just a very rough, cheap material. Um, the glue job for the most part is really good. There's only one little quality control thing I found and that's right there. Um, really no complaints on the glue job, but the filter material is really bad. Um, like I said, this is literally a PTC oil filter. Um, no idea what the micron rating is on this. Um, None whatsoever. I couldn't tell you what it's rated for. Dox Diesel still hasn't responded to my multiple emails about what their microns rating are. Um, so, um, yeah, this filter is a piece of crap. Um, I'll be honest, it is a piece of crap. I, I would never run it on, on, a, on a truck. But let's look at another comparison here. Look at the filter size difference. That's a perlator. So, so this is a basic base, the low model perlator that this filter says on the box it replaces. Well, clearly it doesn't replace it because it's not even the right size. Um, so the uh, perlator over here is rated at 96.5% at 20 microns. Um, that's all it says. Doesn't tell me if it's absolute, uh, what, what rating it's absolute. Doesn't tell me any of that. That's all the information I have. So um, here's the perlator on it. Um, the oil filter is significantly smaller on Dox Diesel's side. I mean, like I said, this is a PTC oil filter. Um, so overall, my review of this is still has not changed. This is a crappy oil filter. I think Dox Diesel makes good fuel filters and air filters, but this oil filter I would never run on any truck that I cared about. If I didn't care about the truck, sure, I'd throw it on, but that is a crappy oil filter. That, I mean, first off, they don't even tell you the Micron ratings or anything like that, and there's a reason for that because, um, yeah, it's just bad. I mean, there's so... I, I just can't believe, I mean, it's not going in because I damaged the casing, but I just can't believe how small that oil filter is. There's just, yeah, I mean, I just I just don't get it, you know? So um, it's, it's basically like, it almost means, seems to me like they're trying to hide stuff. And like I, I mean, like I said, I sent them multiple emails and stuff like that and they never even responded to me. So that is a red flag on their ratings. If, if a company is not willing to openly state what their filters are rated to with actual numbers, do not buy them. The only perk that this oil filter has over its perlator twin, supposed twin, is the spring. That is the only perk that this oil filter has over it. And I would say the pleat placement. Obviously, I don't know if I got a bad batch of filter but this is pretty embarrassing for a perlator minus the glue job. Glue job's good, but the pleat sp spacing is terrible. 
Um, but that's really all this filter's got going for it. And um, so I guess I would say I would give it a thumbs up for, I guess, quality control, but uh, quality overall is uh, terrible. Um, so um, that's about it. So anyways, guys, that sums it up. Um, I still have really nothing good to say about Doc's Diesel's oil filters. Um, so thank you for watching. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And any comments, questions, anything like that, don't hesitate to ask. And have a good night.